Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. Newbie Container Gardening, Nova Scotia, update number seven. I almost didn't get this video out. This is gonna be a really quick one. We had a bunch of company today, and although I do, do have some footage, um, I almost forgot to put it all together to get it to upload. So, quickie update on the garden. Um, Things are looking up for the majority of things. Uh, things are looking down. The tomatoes look like they are having a resurgent, resurgence of the septorum leaf curl. So that's not good. We've got um, them separated again. We're spraying them down again, uh, but we're further into the season now. So some of them actually have uh, tomatoes growing. So I know we're gonna get some harvest. We just don't know how this will go. Um, we have had a lot of rain recently and I really do believe that the rain is playing a major factor in um, this leaf girl. Anyways, check it out. The blight, or as is properly known, septorum leaf curl, has come back. We had a week of a lot of rain and maybe even like two weeks just with a couple days in between like rain for two or three days sun for a day rain again and we think that that is um, causing this so we are spraying them down again at least now we are actually getting tomatoes we've got all of the roma plants have tomatoes on them and the two pear, yellow pear tomatoes. They have tomatoes on them as well. These are the indigo sun. Both of those plants have tomatoes. Beef steak are all over here now, separated, because this is where we noticed the leaf curl first so we separated these again brought them all over here um, but we noticed that it was a little bit on all of the plants um, these ones still yet don't have any Ugh. I already went through and did a big um, very aggressive pruning um, none of these plants yet have tomatoes some of them are getting flowers but no tomatoes yet Cabbage Patch is doing great. We are definitely getting cabbages starting to form. Pumpkin Patch has really come around. We are getting flowers, and this was a female flower, and we think it has been fertilized. So we think this is actually gonna be a pumpkin, and that's very exciting. For us, we've tried growing pumpkins several years um, and never really had any success. A good tip from my friend Lisa about the onions um, that when the greens fall over the onions are ready to be pulled so some of these definitely can be pulled I need to get on that right away and celery is looking good that's this little area over here this is the mint and the chives and the mint here on the left that is from my old neighbor and the mint in the purple pot on the right, that is the new mint, the strawberry mint that I bought this year. Um, it was already quite far into its season when I rescued it from the garden center and brought it home. Um, it had already started to flower a bit and it's been fully flowered now for several weeks. The little cherry duck tomatoes um, still have been untouched from the blight. Uh, lots of cherry tomatoes coming these ones are called sweet million and I hope we get millions of cherries cherry tomatoes and we've got these tomatoes separated again the blight these are over on our bench um, this is the purple zebra I am getting some tomatoes here and then we have more purple zebra here. And the rest are yellow pear. We have staked up the pepper plants, and I say we, um, the handsome one did this handiwork. So these are just sticks from out of the woods. And we've got them tied up here. 
because the peppers are getting big and starting to pull over, we also tied up the potatoes in all of the pots so that we could see everything better. And we also clamped up the celery so that it would grow straight up. Cucumbers are looking a bit haggard, but we are still getting cucumbers. So cucumbers there, down in here, more coming there, more down here. So this is looking good. This is our squash, but now we have more squash. There's another one down here. Another one over here. Another one in here. So this is fantastic. Love squash. Um, we have also staked up the eggplant because eggplants can be quite heavy. So there's two there coming. And you know what I'm going to try to make when we harvest the eggplant? I'm going to try to make ratatouille, which the ingredients are eggplant and zucchini. And I know other things, but since we'll have eggplant and zucchini, I'm going to try to make it for the very first time. I've never had it before. Broccoli. And some of the broccolis are looking a bit haggard, um, but little broccolis are coming. Zucchini. More zucchini back in there. And we have already picked some that are inside and in the fridge. This looks to be some more um, squash that had female flowers. Hopefully those were fertilized. Thankfully I got a good deal on beans at the farmer's market because the handsome one, oh, here's a big one. Handsome one keeps picking these beans and him and the dogs are eating them. Uh, randomly, both of the dogs absolutely love raw green beans. I know, weird. Peppers and Brussels sprouts are making out great. They're probably our strongest crop. So you can see each one of these little spots on the stem is going to be a Brussels sprout. So we're pretty happy with all of this. Who knew? We've never grown Brussels sprouts before, so it's pretty exciting for us. And then, of course, lots of jalapenos. All kinds. Looking really good. Here we have new growth on the new rhubarb. Bur um, asparagus is doing very well. All of the asparaguses that we've planted um, are doing quite well. The saved asparagus from last year. Weird. Ants all over the... This is the mature rhubarb. Get in here and see. Yep. No growth. Fantastic. This is still the original pot in the original location that I put the Swiss chard. But I don't feel that it's growing that awesome. And I don't know if it is because we have just had a absolutely ridiculous amount of rain or if it doesn't like this spot. I might try to find a sunnier spot because if I remember correctly, um, at the old house, the Swiss chard that I had that did really well was just wide open. It was in a raised bed that nothing else was around, no shade. And um, maybe this will like this. If you know, does Swiss chard um, just like wide open full sun? Let me know. On the indoor garden plant, this is my goldfish plant. I've had this for quite a few years now. I'm not going to say 10, but I've probably had it for... I've probably had it for seven or eight years. Um, it's always been healthy, did really well in the location that we had it um, in our old house. And I had it hanging in the window. And it hasn't been doing well. Um, so I actually pulled it down to give it a closer inspection. And it was absolutely waterlogged. Like waterlogged that I was pouring water out of it. So I'm doing a couple things. Um, I've removed it from the window. And we deduced that the window it was in in the old house was an east-facing window. So I've got it out of the window it was in. It's now in an east-facing window. It was in a west 
facing window. Um, it's drained. I've had a fan going on it to help dry it out. Um, I'm hoping that I don't lose it because it was seriously, grossly waterlogged. And I mean, the only answer for that is that it had to be me um, watering it too much. I always remember it as a heavy, heavy drinker. Uh, but obviously it's not drinking heavy in the location that it was at. So I've replaced it in the window. So I've replaced it in the window with a pothos that I had. And I had recently given this pothos a, a haircut. And it is starting to recuperate. I'm getting new growth. So that's a new leaf there. Um, so I'm happy with this. And I had actually, I was actually able to root um, one of the pieces that I cut off. It's solidly rooted. And now I've got it in my little fox, um, hoping uh, that it will get bigger and viney. Thanks so much for following along. Um, we have harvested two more zucchinis and a couple more cucumbers. We haven't um, harvested anything else yet though. Uh, we are waiting, waiting for things to get bigger and better. Bigger and better is always good.